EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Pebble Beach Golf Links on the California coast, live third-round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. The leader is the most recent gold medalist, Xander Shoffley. He sits at 10 under par. We'll get into the action here on the tee at the par 3 12. Well, that one didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. This is a nine footer. No missteps there. It is a par here at 12. And he'll remain at six under par. Frank, the 13th hole doesn't get as much fanfare as some of the more picturesque par fours here at Pebble Beach. Just curious, what do you think of this 13th hole? I think it's a good hole, Rich, because it rewards you. Uh, you can certainly make, make three here. I remember when Tony Jacklin actually made an eagle here, but it's very easy to mess up. Um, purely because they added those three bunkers in on the right side that start at 260 yards and finish at just over 290 yards. What's that done, what that has done to this hole has actually shrunk the fairway to just 35 yards wide. That, a good looking shot there, well placed in the fairway. So this is where club selection becomes much more important. Uphill, make sure you have enough stick, and then swing away. Ah, good shot. 
safely on the green in a birdie chance. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll stay right where he is. Well, in the world of professional golf, there are very few legitimate three-shot par fives left. This 582-yard par 5 14th at Pebble Beach is one of those holes. It is all you want. The drive was fine, but just not long enough. So this par five, out of his reach. Gonna take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. perfect there down the slope it's in for a birdie and that'll move him to seven under par here at the 15th a good drive frank would be right down the middle a, a bad drive would be on on 17 mile drive as, as scenic as it is uh, it's not where you want to be is it it's out of bounds well you can't afford to go right and you can't afford to pay for that real estate on the right either so uh, yeah anything down there um, and fortunately, it's a downhill tee shot. Uh, I know there's sort of five, four bunkers really down the left side, but really it's the pop bunker that has to be avoided. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday at golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Well, downhill, Frank, want to play the ball, what, a little further back in the stance, take a club less?
That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. This is a 13-footer. Target. Those are the ones that'll drive you crazy. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll remain right where he is. So for our featured golfer, some good playing and some favorable scoring conditions here on this Saturday. But they'll look up at that leaderboard and see they're still well back. But I think the goal really is to try and shoot back-to-back -back right rounds, Rich. Uh, if anything better than that, maybe leader takes a stumble. You can't control that. But at least get out there tomorrow, shoot as low as you can. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters. EA Sports and the PGA Tour, so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Pebble Beach Golf Links, just south of Monterey, live final round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. What a week and weekend this has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner. As you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon, Xander Shoffley is the leader. He's currently at 16 under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer here, well back on the scoreboard and just looking to go out and make some birdies. So out to the action we go as we catch up with our golfer on the tee at the par 4 13th. Right, in the fairway. <laughs> this may be a touch right. With the hole cut in the front left, this tee shot down the right is ideal. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Looking at 149 to the hole, wind definitely hurting in his face. That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. Pretty good tee shot. He'll play this second shot from the right side of the fairway. Stuck the follow-through right there. This could be really good. 
No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. Will certainly help the cause. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And he'll stay at 700. Frank, the 14th hole, par 5. It is one of the most difficult par 5s in championship golf, isn't it? It certainly is, Rich. Not just because of the length of the hole, 570-plus yards, but um, reachable only really by the longest hitters in the right conditions. But it's the third shot. I, I've got to rank the third shot as probably the hardest short wedge shot um, right up there with the 15th hole at Augusta. Nothing to fault there. Safely in the fairway. That is going to wind up right down Broadway. A majestic looking tee shot there. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in a really good position here on the par five. So going well up the hill to that green will need to take an extra club here. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. Oh. 
Gonna have to try and give this a good thump to fly it to the hole. Yeah, look out, kind of sculled that one, and that's gonna be over the green and into the rough. This for birdie now at 14. This is a very straight putt, but it will be fast. So you've got to be careful not to run this by if it wanders offline. Perfect there, down the slope. It's in for a birdie. And that's gonna move him to eight under. Yeah, that's a good roll there to come away with just a bogey at this par five. And he'll fall back to eight under par. You may have heard of the 17 mile drive near Pebble Beach. It's scenic, it is one you absolutely want to put on your bucket list, but you don't want to get there by chasing a tee shot onto the road. That's what can happen if you blow it way right here at 15, if you do keep it in play. At 393 yards, this 15th hole is absolutely one on which you can make a birdie. And all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. Second shot up coming with that pin tucked in the front left. This one has a chance to be close. Oh, I always knew that was gonna be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that, eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. See what he can do with this one. His second at the 15th, just want to avoid the flyer lie coming out of that rough. Oh, just the strike, the sound of it, and the ball does the rest. Great shot. Nine feet left here for birdie. Late here in the round, birdies at 14 and 15. And he's got it to two under for the round, nine under now for the tournament. And that one finished off, it's a birdie here at 15. And he's worked it to nine under par. 
This is a really pretty hole, the par 4 16th. What's the right line here, Frank? Well, if you want to pick out something on the horizon there, if you look closely down there, the tallest tree in the distance, that's sort of right bang in the middle of the fairway. Um, you will not see your tee shot land and you won't see it run out, but that's the line. so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. This one started up the right side. Ah, that's right in the pocket. Now, watch this. Gravity take over here. That's going to come on down the slope. Wow, really well done. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. It's 125 yards left to the hole. Pin on the right hand side, so plenty of room to the left of it. That's not too bad. Good shot inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance for Bertie. Noticeable breeze coming right to left as he eyes his second. Ah, good shot safely on the green and a birdie chance. This is a 16 footer. That is painful. I mean, all you have to do, just hit it. Just hit it. Shoffley now for birdie. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And it'll stay at minus nine. Okay, that one finished off for a par. And he'll stay right where he is. Well, here we are, 17th hole, and this is where you can make your mark on the sport. Frank, so much history at this par three. It's just a great hole too, Rich. You know, that hourglass shaped green on the angle, but, but you're right when you talk about history. You go back to 1972, and this hole played into the breeze. It was a one iron for Jack Nicklaus. Said one of the greatest shots he ever hit, actually hit the flag stick, nearly went in. And of course, one of my favorites is 1982. Tom Watson had missed this green to the left, and the late Bruce Edwards was his caddy. And uh, they were looking for options because they were in such a perilous situation with the US Open on the line. And Watson said, well, what about if I just hole it? And if you look really closely at the footage, as Watson starts to run across the green, he's pointing his finger back at Bruce and saying, I told you so. And then just a few years ago too, Gary Woodland, he had to chip it on this green and made three. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day.
Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. Yeah, that one came out hot, tough to judge sometimes, coming out of the sand, and that winds up well beyond the flag. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. A look here for Birdie at 17. And he seemingly had no problem with his reads all round long, so this shouldn't be too difficult. That one just going to sneak on by. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll remain right where he is. That one finished off for Bogey here at 17. And he's going to drop back to minus 9. Wow, California's still golden, depending on the view. And Frank, this one is hard to beat. 18th tee at Pebble Beach, here we are. It's a stunning hole, Rich. Not only a great par five, because you have to make decisions on whether you're not, you want to go for this green and two, but just how picturesque it is. Uh, the bunkers you obviously see down the left, just uh, slightly right of the water. But those trees, the one specially in the middle of the fairway that you have to navigate with the tee shot, and the one short if you decide to lay up. No issues here, that is into the fairway. That's a fine tee shot, but it is a long, long way to this par five. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Birdie chance if he can knock one in close. His third from the bunker.
All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Here's Xander for birdie. Got it there, but not quite on target. Right around six feet here for birdie. Yeah, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. And that will finish off our round of golf. So he'll finish up there. It's a par here at 18. And that's going to wrap up our 18 holes of golf. Well, that about wraps things up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nabolo. Enjoyed it, Frank. Certainly did, Rich. Once again, the golf course provided more than a stern test. And for the entire team, I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time.